Okay, let's check out the AI008 matrix mixer from AI Synthesis. So if you're not familiar with matrix mixers, uh, what makes them different is that they tend to have the same number of inputs as outputs, and you assign how much goes from each input to each output using a matrix of, in this case, knobs. There's other matrix mixers out there that have switches. There's some that can function as VCAs as well. But uh, in the case of this one, you've got four inputs, four outputs, and uh, your channels are arranged from top to bottom. And then for each input, you can use the knobs to control the amount going to each one of the outputs. So there's three knobs for each input, and there's three routable outputs, and then one mixed output. So the fourth output here gives you the blend of A, B, and C. So you can think of it as a summed output. If you think of a regular mixer as a summing mixer, you're taking a bunch of uh, inputs and summing them to either a stereo output or a mono output. You can think of a matrix mixer as a routing mixer in that it makes it very easy to send signals uh, and distribute them throughout your your system, whether that's audio or CV. Now, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but there's a note on the back of the module that's not mentioned in the manual saying that this machine kills fascists. So if you're fascist, uh, this might not be the matrix mixer for you. The matrix mixer is available as a DIY kit, or you can buy it fully assembled. So let's see what we can come up with with the matrix mixer. Okay, so now I have a four voice patch set up with Tetrapad controlling the DPO, the spectral multiband resonator, and shapeshifter. So I've got the spectral multiband resonator on inputs one and two, DPO's on three, shapeshifter is on four. So then I have those going into the inputs on the matrix mixer. I have the first output. Output A is going to the delay section of Rainmaker. Output B is going to the comb section of Rainmaker. Output C is going to the FX aid. And then everything is coming back in on Quadrat. So the fourth input is my ABC output. So that's going to be my dry output. So if I bring up any channel or any input. Uh, got to send some signal first. So let's just get uh, let's just get these activated. So that's uh, channel one of the SMR. That's channel two. And then I have the DPO on three. And shapeshifter on input four. So I'm sending out to the Rainmaker right now, but I have that input down on Quadrat. So if I bring up the this channel on Quadrat, it's kind of like bringing in the return. So I can control the level of the delay with this knob here. So let's send all of those to the comb section now. So this is the comb section of Rainmaker now. And now let's send everything to the delay. Now we have everything going at full level everywhere, but uh, let's change that around. So I'm just going to send the DPO to the comb, and I'm not going to send the DPO to the delay.
And let's play around with the voices a bit. So you also have to use those levels to control the total value in the sum, so I don't want so much of the DPO in the mix, so that means I have to send it less to the effects. So you can see it gives you some really interesting control to interact with all your parameters and uh, great for a live setting because you can uh, get a lot of hands-on control and uh, really manip ma manipulate things to dial them in as you want. Another fun thing about this setup is you can just have the wet side, so you can just have the effects come back without the dry uh, original signal. Okay, so matrix mixers are great for setting up feedback patches. So right now I've got uh, the outputs of Morgasmatron going to inputs 1 and 2, as well as outputs A and B going back into Morgasmatron. And then I have a whole mess of stuff going on with Spring Ray and the Metasonics modules and maths and uh, the Doper uh, PLL, the A1 A196. Uh, and then the, and then I'm using Spring Ray as the main output. So let's see what kind of mess we can get started with this. So. I like using Spring Ray for feedback patches because it's got a built-in limiter and it's got a send and return loop that you can feed other stuff into. Matrix mixers can be a really fun and powerful way to route CV in a patch. So in this patch I have envelopes from Quadrax on inputs 1 and 2, and LFOs on 3 and 4. Out A is going to the VCA CV input, out B is going to the filter, uh, filter cutoff mo modulation, and out C is providing frequency modulation to Dixie, and the sum output is going to scales to provide uh, melodies for the oscillator. So I can play with the knobs to send different amounts of modulation to each one of these parameters and, and send, send them to both at the same time if I want.
I got the idea for this patch from one of Heinbach's videos where he uses passive bandpass filters. I'll, I'll put a link in the video description. So in my case, what I'm doing is I've got rings coming in on input one. We can hear the dry signal from rings here. Output A is going to Morgasmatron set to bandpass mode. And then that's coming in on input A here. So I'll turn down rings and now we can just hear the output from Rainmaker. So as I change the filter cutoff, I can emphasize different uh, frequency ranges of the delay. And B on the Matrix Mixer is going to the Happy Nerding FX8 reverb and then going to Morgasmatron. So I can use the bandpass filter of Morgasmatron to filter the reverb. And then when you blend it all together, you can get some really interesting dynamic effects, especially when you modulate them. So that is the AI008 Matrix Mixer. So I had a lot of fun uh, trying out some creative approaches with it, and I know I'll get lots of use out of it in the future. So I'm curious to hear what your favorite ways are to use Matrix Mixers. And uh, yeah, wherever you are, stay healthy and safe, and thanks for watching.